Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to be talking about the most important shot in tennis. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so what am I talking about? The most important shot in tennis. Hmm. Well, if you've ever been coached before, I'm sure your coach have always said, hit cross court, right? Practice, hit cross court. Forehand cross court, backhand cross courts, drills, backhand to backhand, cross court, forehand to forehand, cross court. Cross court, guys. We're hitting cross court today, right? Coach Gu is with me today. And we're going to be talking about why cross courts are the most important shot in tennis. I got, I got my man also, Coach Chris, and we're going to be showing you in one second. So, Coach Gu, we're going to just quickly explain why is cross court the most important shot in tennis. So, the, why cross court is the most important shot in tennis, it's definitely because it's the most high percentage shot in tennis. If you think about the net over here, let's take a look at the net here. Right, the highest part of the net is where you think, and a lot of people say, "Well, the net's pretty high in general." But actually, if you look at it from an angle, if you hit down the line, you can tell the net is the, that's the highest part of the net. Right, that's why down the line is the most basically low percent of shots, unless you know it's a kill ball. But most of the time, we hit cross court is because it's the lowest part of the net. And it's, we have a ton of space to play around with. That means we hit high and heavy or rip a few cross courts. We had the most majority of our balls. We can play with so much height and the margin of error is even higher, right? So that's the reason why, one of the biggest reasons why we hit cross court is so high percentage. The net, that's the lowest part of the net and it's where our natural swing tends to be, cross court. No matter where we end up on the run, or just neutral stance to our neutral positions, it's so much easier to go cross this house because it's how our bodies are designed to go cross more. So Coach Chris uses cross court a ton um, on the ITF tour. So Coach Chris probably hits millions of cross courts. Why do you use cross court so much on tour? So allowing us to hit cross court or hitting cross court shots, that's probably, again, um, the most uh, sought and used after because as you're going cross you're stabbing your your forehand earlier on in the rally and hitting cross court too as well adds for kind of that high percentage tennis so as you bring that ball cross court you're able to kind of hit through um, the length of the court the longer length of the court in the diagonal region so that's one of the other reasons why too um, in the cross court rally in general as a strategy you obviously um, a lot of people on the tour they use uh, the forehand quite often as your weapon. So just being on that forehand side uh, ready from the, from the get-go allows you to kind of establish um, kind of your weapon, um, your dominance in the point early on. Uh, and that way you'll kind of be able to uh, utilize patterns a lot more as you're playing. So high percentage shots going cross court, hitting the length of the court. Therefore you can hit probably a little harder with a little top and it usually dives in the court. All right, we'll show you some right now. Stay tuned. All right, so we just showed you some cross court rallies, both on the forehand side and on the backhand side. Uh, now we're gonna actually show you some patterns, okay? One of the more common patterns is three forehands cross court and then one to the backhand.
Coach Andrew, why do we do that? Uh, the reason why is just to establish a base. Um, the reason why we go three cross court first is one, to get rhythm, two, to establish your dominance on your forehand side or your backhand side, and three, you can actually start creating a little bit more of the points. So when you start playing cross court, what I always think about is placing it deep, high and heavy, and when I start to feel more comfortable in establishing my dominance or my presence in the court, I start to learn how to angle. So that is, those are the three reasons why I like to create the point in the cross court, on my forehand especially, is because of those three things. And if I can do that consistently very well, well, that person is most likely going to give me a short ball. I'm going to look into the court and start hitting it to the open court. And that's the reason why it's, it's very, it's, it seems very simple, but it takes years and years and years of practice to master it because it's such a complex big shot because you have playing with so many different things you learn how to hit spin you're learning how to drive the ball and you're also learning how to be a little more crafty with your hands and you're a little, little, little bit with your wrist because of that angle so keep practicing it out there and honestly this could be you know you could be really dominant with that cross court all right so the three forehands to one backhand drill right i used to take it as i want to lull them to sleep because their first step is always back to center, right? So if you go three down that forehand side, you're gonna be like, oh, the fourth one might come back to me back to the forehand side, right? That's when you pull the trigger and shoot it down the line because they might be kind of flat footed and can't get to that shot. Um, would you agree with me there, Coach Chris? Um, yeah, I would definitely agree with that. But also I think the biggest thing is that when you're doing these patterns to, to obviously look to exactly when the right ball to change down the line so you can't just obviously hit something that's uh up for high percentage tennis if the ball is hit back to you really deep in the court you're looking to change more along when the ball kind of lands a bit shorter maybe around the service line and that way you can inject a little bit more pace going down the line hurting your opponent a little bit more so that's kind of one of the things that i noticed um as i'm doing these patterns so basically when you go down that line do you foresee that shot being a winner? Um, not necessarily. It's more of a change of pace. So a lot of the good players out there on the tour use that to kind of move opponents side to side a little bit more. That way they can kind of expose um, their opponent's weakness a little bit. Right. Okay. Coach, Coach Andrew, anything else to add to that? I mean, like I said before, you have to practice the shot many, many times. This is why it's implemented in our warm-ups because it's such an important shot. Um, to start off a cross court point, I mean, so any point, you must go cross court. Even think about it, serve to return, most likely cross court, right? Right. So you can tell it's the most high percentage shot and it's the most commonly used shot. So therefore, when you're playing, you want to make sure, right, train that cross court, really have good focus on what you want to do with your cross court ball. Right, so practice cross court forehands. Practice cross court backhands, mm -hmm. right? That'll be your most important shot that you'll ever keep using over and over again. Okay? High percentage, long part of the court, keeping it in, right? Try try hitting it with spin, try hitting it, you know, angle. hard and deep with angle. And right? Deep. Yeah. And drive yeah. through and it. drive through it. This yeah. is also good for doubles too as well later on. And that's oh, yes. another video. Stay tuned. Right. Yeah. Stay tuned for that one. Okay, so cross court, most important shot in tennis. Okay, practice it. I uh, want to thank my man, Coach Goo, for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, Coach Chris, where can we find you? Yeah, at CB Chen, C H I N, tennis. Um, come look for me there. All right, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.